you live this life, I walk this road, and you can talk shit. Gambling with my life, but I ain't hey, refuse to go for nonsense. This the life I chose, this all I know, ain't many options. About to tell the truth, I make the rules like I'm Fleece Johnson. What's up? This is Big Lee with Hustler Spirit. What's going on, Fleece? Ooh, ooh, baby oil. Baby oil? Yeah. What you, what you got baby oil for, man? Uh, P. Diddy. This is for you, buddy. Jay-Z. This is yours. I'm telling you something, man. Look. Them inmates and I, I don't care. You know, I did 40 years flat in the penitentiary. But it was a state prison, not federal. But even though I never been in federal, I still know how a penitentiary operates. I can guarantee you all that Celebrity status got you in protected custody. But who's in protected custody? Let me tell you some of the people in protected, the worst in the penitentiary are in protected custody. They go to protected custody because when they was in general population, they did something, fell out there, stole some people money, couldn't pay their debt, uh, they done did something that somebody's family members done come down there and told them they're going to kill them and they go to uh, protected custody. Uh, they done read it on a lot of people and got caught doing it. That's who's in protected custody. It ain't no P. Diddy is in protected custody around some good natured people, the worst in prison, go to protect the custody. The baby rapers, the child molesters, the thieves, the, the ones that get chased off the yard. Five or six people try to kill them. They go to protect the custody, and in protect the custody, they foul. They still nasty. They people that would cheat, lie, steal from you, set you up. Take a hit to kill you, all that. So he's not safe. I know what he's going to do, right? Because like I said, I did 40 years. I'm a master when it comes to the booty talk. I, I know all that about booty. You so know? you know what he was using the oil for then? Yeah, I know what the oil is for, right? That's, see, in the prison I was in, what they do is they douche. Clean their insides out first. Then they take oil like this and, and squirk it up inside their booty, right? So it can be real juicy up in there. When something goes up, you know, you stick the head of it on the hole and it just go <laughs> suck right up in there. I mean, good. And you be like, oh my God. And you know, and you pounding it. I'm giving this to Jay-Z, this one right here, because Jay-Z, I'm going to tell you what. We we kind of figure out how smart you are. You know, are, are you going to let them lawyers and all that talk about you got so much money they can't phase you and all that make you turn yourself in to these people? And, and get a bail, get no bail. Why you keep on saying Jay Z? I haven't heard his name from the law enforcement. Man, what what are you thinking? Because last December, you uh, said twenty twenty four was gonna be the, the yeah. year everything yeah. happened. So it's yeah. starting to happen. But yeah. why you keep saying Jay Z? Right now they got Puffy. I know how the game goes, right? Get down first. Puff is in a situation right now where he he don't realize how much power he really got, really. You know, I done did 40 years in prison. 
And that jail he's in, all they talk about on the news is the jail is foul, the condition is bad, it's been known for this and that. There are my constitutional violations that you can close that prison. You can close that jail. You got enough money to put your lawyers on it and swarm that jail with nothing but lawsuits. Just, just pound. They'll, 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 I bet you his, his conditions would change. They'll move him up out of there. They'll give him a bail. They'll do anything to stop it. See, he don't know how to attack back. But if he does that, he's giving up his protection from the, Man, from the security yeah, guards. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he can get that inmates are protecting because all he got to do is throw that money out there, right? You got guys in there, man. You say, what you need a lawyer? I can get lawyers for all of y'all. Yeah, you know, uh, and, and, and have that protection. And put, be putting a little money on people's account, little dollars, and take, you know, pay your way through, bro. You know, pay your way through, man, and be like a king, you know. And, and attack their system. Take the rest of your money and, and none of the lawsuits on all the prison stuff. I'll have every inmate in there going to court and be, be man, and, and, and they jails, whoever they got locked up in their jails, they got bails. Make the bail for the whole city. Anybody that's on bail, just make all their bails. They want a heyday? Show them. Why y'all fight me? This is what I'm getting ready to do to y'all. Now they got a situation. We got a man in here is using all his money. We gonna try to shut him down, but his money is in somebody else's name. And we, uh, 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 he's making everybody's bail in the whole city. He got people walking the streets. We don't want on the streets. He done got them out. How you know he hasn't? They haven't frozen his accounts yet. Well, if they ain't, if he got access to it, he needs to do it. And he needs to get civil rights lawyers and uh, nothing but lawsuits on that all that prison stuff. Attack, fight back, fight they ass back. You know, and uh. Uh, and let them know wherever you put me at, it's, it's a fight coming. You know, you can put, put me in the crowd of inmates and watch me bound. I bad one of them. You know, they inmates can sell themselves for anything in prison. And if you got money, you're going to get protected. You know. How's the inmate going to protect you from the guards and the prison? If you got enough of them on your side, you paying people. You got goals. You goals will start taking bribes. You know they would. I would. He can make it where every prison would tell the prosecutor, "We don't want him. <coughs> He's gonna be trouble. We don't want this man in our system. He's gonna corrupt our system. He's gonna buy our goals. He's gonna buy everybody, and they will sell." They would sell themselves, buddy. I done seen it done. Uh, I done been in situations. With people with less money. Yeah, for less money. They I've seen it. So this man here, well, let me tell you about this baby one. Let me get back to that. When I say booty is more important than water, it is. But in prison. In prison. It's Man, baby, or oh. hey, look, I don't even. You be better to use baby oil. If you don't want to get dry. You know what I mean? Spin on your thing and go up in her. And it hurts. So uh, <laughs> you will want to use baby oil, and they gonna pour. Jay Z is the one with them, his lips. You, you keep talking about him. He's not even in custody, man. Man, I, I want to say something. And his lips, boy, they gon' ooh. Mm, mm, mm. But let's go back to P. D. Now everybody else involved in this stuff. I want y'all to look. Look at this. Cause this could be for y'all too. 
That's right. This ain't only for P. Diddy, Jay Z. This is real baby oil. Now, there's a lot of people that they get ready to come out of in Hollywood, celebrities that was involved in that man's administration and uh, his trafficking, uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, scandals. This is for y'all too. Y'all look at this. This is baby oil. Now, I don't care how many wives you got on the streets or girlfriends, you can't even go to prison. And this is what they're going to come to you with. You're going to walk to... You're going to walk to your cell and somebody's going to throw a bottle of this through your bars. It's gonna, you're going to know what it means. You're going to see a bottle of this laying on your bed. Baby oil. You're going to be like, who put this in my cell? Ain't nobody going to say nothing. You're going to come through the next day with another bottle. Yeah, if somebody want to do something, come to me face to face. I'm a man. I'm all that old. Then one day you're going to walk up, somebody going to pop you in your head, knock you down, tie you to the bed, take your shorts down, put that squirk it all up, all up around you, rub your cheeks, rub it in, get in back of you, and hunt you. They said, uh, and I'm, you can hear, with, but that baby oil makes noise, man. It makes that. You can hear that. You can hear the cheeks popping like, <laughs> like bacon in a skillet. <laughs> baby oil makes it juicy, man. And uh, boy, when you when you come, ooh, I'm serious though. I want every one of y'all to look at this, man. It can be for anybody. Baby oil. They found a thousand bottles of this in Diddy's place, man. A thousand. Good God. Whew. Mm, mm, mm. I wonder why you have so many of them. Man, cause them booties, man, was a hey, they that was a freak off for real. I mean, who can ask for anything better if you into the freak stuff? you know, to go to one of them parties. But I think he messed up when uh, the traffic and stuff, you know, people over state land, underage and all that. And that makes it criminal. But to just go to one of them parties where you can lace up in baby oil. See, them baby oil is party for men or women. Would you went, went to one of them if you was invited? <laughs> I'm uh You can't plead the fifth. That's a yes or no question. Would you have went if you was invited to the baby oil show? I would have it with I I would have went <laughs> I, I know <laughs> I would have went mainly because you know, I got a nice body, you know, and uh, I want to see some nice bodies in her, right? I know, man, boy, there's going to be some stuff in this party, right? going to be a whole lot of shiny people, man. And and, and booty's going to be fat, fat. I mean, luxurious. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and they was getting down. They was getting down for real. And that man was uh, his freaky nature. You know, I done met freaks. I, you know, I done met a lot of freaks in my life. You know, I'm, I mean, freaks that do bizarre stuff, right? And uh, beyond what he can even dream of. But this man here, that's what gets me about him. They're his type of freakness. You know, it's sinful. You know, all that sin, it was sinfulness. You just said you would have went. Yeah, I would have still went. You know, <laughs> I'm, yeah. 
it, with it, all the sin you was gonna go. I would have went. I would have had to see it. And uh, but here's what I'm saying though. It's it's sinful. Seriously. It is sinfulness. It was like and but here what gets me. You know that this house is a house of sin. When you go in there, you ain't going in there like uh, you just came out of church, like you go to church. You going somewhere where you know you expect to see no telling what. People on their knees sucking, getting butt butt, just bashed and uh, girls kissing girls, men kissing men. You going to see, you know this is a house of sin. And you go there For what reason? Ask the question that everybody went there are being asked now. What was your reason for going there? I just wanted to see some celebrities that hang Man, out. Man, look, you're a, you're a celebrity. You see celebrities every time you go to work. Why did you go to this house of sin? You knew it was a house of sin. Okay, since you put it like that. That's what it is. Okay. They had topless people dancing in our uh, uh, booty shaking. Uh, the waitress and stuff was was handing you your that, your drink and thongs. So uh, uh, the men's had thongs. So, so let me ask this question: If that's the case, if you if you if you thinking that, how does T D Jakes end up there? He's a sinner. So, so, so you don't think T.D. Jakes seat. couldn't just go have a good time and leave and go home? How are you going to go to a house of sin and come out of it say, oh man, I had a lovely... T-. Yeah, you probably did have a... The only way you can have a good time uh, is to participate in the sin. He went during the day. He's a spiritual leader. He went to go pray with him and yeah, give yeah. him the word and stuff. Yeah, pray. I done met like Reverend Goodhead. Pray with him, suck him, and then he go wipe his mouth like he ain't did nothing. He went to the house of sin as a sinner. T.D. Jakes did. He's a sinner. He knows what he is. And he fit. And he fit in the... People like... Wait, wait they, a minute. You say he's fat? No, nah, I say he's fit. He fit what? A crowd. Now how T.D. Jakes fit, fit that crowd? Most people in that crowd was deceivers, man. People that made millions and billions off of deception. Hmm. False uh, pretense. Pretending to be something they ain't good at it, though. Loud cheaters, people that can look at you and cry when they want to. and all. No, perfect actors. Uh, a genius in what they do. They genius in the things that they do. Why are you still holding that baby oil like that, though? I can't get this baby oil out of my... <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> it's been a while since I held some baby oil in my hands, right? It brings back memories. But uh, 40 years in prison, I did. I'm an expert on prison matters. And I'm going to tell y'all right now that this baby oil, and I know it's a lot of people watching this. You little movie stars and celebrities, you know, you regular people. Well, you're a movie star now, so you better well, watch yourself. Yeah, it's for everybody. Look, baby oil. Now, here's, here was, here's the, the part about going to going to jail or prison. When you get took it and they rub his baby all on you and here's the feeling. Your last memory is going to be when you was making love to whoever the last girl was you made love to. How she wrapped her arms around you and held you and and how she wrapped her legs around your waist while you was pumping.
The shock and surprise will be now you laying on your back. The baby oil done been applied. He's up in you. You got your arms around his neck. And you, need, you need some baby on your elbows, man. Man, I'm a rough neck. <laughs> but you, I'm afraid to open this. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm look, this right here is, y'all don't get it. It, it, it's it's going to be used. Thousand bottles, man. Well, yeah, but they got some in prison. They ain't got the cherry oil and all that. But I'm telling you what, this is regular. And this is, this is good. This is good. Boy, it'll make it pop. It'll make it pop, for real. <laughs> Every stroke out, you know, like oh, Like you just busting something. <laughs> like you just busting the buns, you know, just... <laughs> You can hear, you can actually hear that in prison all day long. You know, ain't no way, ain't no such thing as a quiet, you know what, you, somebody's doing it. You be in your bed just thinking about nothing. Then you'll hear that noise. <laughs> you know what it is. Somebody's getting their bones smashed. You know, and P. Diddy, he gonna be around people. You know, and uh, so his food is gonna be up to him. Pay a little money, get better food treatment. He's definitely gonna get better food. Uh, yeah. Uh, they gonna the girls is gonna be really afraid. Of him, I think uh, they say he's on suicide watch. Yeah, they gotta put him on suicide watch be, uh, uh, because that's a transition from uh, luxury to feel. A lot of people don't make it a connection. Now. I mean, this man lived a lavish lifestyle, and and you can see all these videos, man. Everything he wore, put on his back, was. No telling how much money his outfits is like ten thousand dollar outfits. A man wore, and the and his, <coughs> his whole place was just luxury. And uh, he can eat out of gold. Now to go from that to a jail with some foul food, nasty smell, while your blankets and sheets. Always come back smelling, you know. Man, and he, he probably got enough money to get some nice sheets. And nah, stuff. they ain't gonna. You gonna get what they give you. They gonna try to give him some clean sheets. But you gonna get hotel sheets, man. No, he's not. No, he's, he's not. not. No, he's not. They gonna treat him like an inmate. See, you ain't gonna. They gonna let him know you ain't gonna get no special treatment in here. That's gonna be a lie. Uh, uh. For a while it ain't. He gonna have to figure out how to make a connection. But uh, until he learn that, they gonna treat him like anybody else. Nothing special. Uh, ain't no guards gonna be allowed to sit there and talk to you. You know, hold a conversation. Uh, if you need something, they gonna ask you what you need and all this and, and they gone. And they gonna watch you. They gonna make a routine on like suicide watch is usually every fifteen minutes. They gotta make a round walk past and say, You alright or not? And keep walking. He's gonna trip when he realized that he's gonna get treated like anybody else. And when he's when they bring his food, they gonna say, "Child." They gonna say, "I heard it." Them girls gonna try to get him to eat. They gonna say, "Uh, it's pretty good meal today. I heard it was pretty good." He gonna be like, "I don't want it." And uh, well, you gotta eat something. Try it. Then he gonna taste it. It's gonna be good. So he gonna start eating. And uh, 
But uh, he got to be on suicide watch because they trip out these celebrities. Never been in prison. None of this. You've been living good. Now you're living in filth. Filth. Uh, the prison I came out of, you can only spend $125 a week. I don't know what they allow their inmates to spend up for a week. I don't even know what type of commissary they get. Uh, Kentucky had a good commissary. Now, New York probably got more she can buy than their commissary. It's probably candy bars, chips, cookies, and noodles. Maybe one or two. I doubt if they let them have a can good. You can't have cans on suicide watch. Mm. You can't have nothing metal, aluminum, or nothing like that. Because you're on suicide watch. You ain't even allowed to shave yourself. You can't be trusted with a razor uh, to shave with. They got to shave you themselves with a clippers. And, uh... On suicide watch, uh, your food will have to be in a styrofoam tray. You know, because they don't want you to have no hard plastic or nothing that you can break and use as a cutting to cut well, yourself. Well, what kind of silver you get? It's going to be plastic. Uh, uh, no, paper. They got some, like, cardboard. They got a cardboard-shaped thing, and you got to, it's about this big. It's shaped into a spoon. And it's cardboard? Yeah. That gets, I guess, once it gets wet, it yeah, loosens up. Yeah, and, yeah. Mm. You can't hurt yourself with that. So he'll get treated with a staff on tray. And a cardboard spoon. Yeah, a cardboard spoon in a, a staff on uh, drinking cups. You know, uh, uh, and so uh, and they'll come by and collect collect it back from it when he's done. Make like, sure everything they give they gave, gave him is in yeah. mm. And uh now if he wants to uh write a letter, they won't give him uh they got these ink pens, they call flex pens. They about that small and and and, and they 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 wobble. You, you can't stick yourself with them or nothing. You can write a letter. They hold it right. We used to uh, have to uh, roll paper around it to hold it up to hold it, you mm. know. And uh, they let them use uh, 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 the JPay thing uh, to uh, text. He, gonna, he, he can get one hour exercise. That's the constitutional requirement. One hour a day. So, it showers every other day. You don't get showers every day. Every other day. Um, he probably definitely going to be used to that. No, nah, he ain't going to be used to none of that. And then some of them showers, you stand up on them, the water come out cold. Somebody flush their toilet, it'll turn hot, then cold again. I mean, you be, ooh, uh, it's torturous. So he gonna go through all of that. He, he gonna trip. And all he gonna know is that everybody that he broke bread with is snitching on him. It hurts. Everybody's against you. Everybody you hit in your house that was drinking, holding up drinks, they running to the police saying things. You will get convicted and all that stuff. When you know all this, and you know this is going to be for the rest of your life, you ain't no getting away from this. So you think he's going to get life? Definitely. <clears throat> because of the charges and his age? Well, because he's black. Mm. Because he's black and successful. And uh, he's going to get more. Because the more time he gets, the more they can take from him. You know, it's going back into the hands of the white people who orchestrated all this. They're going to get a lot of that money. 
a lot of people's gonna get that money. You know, and he gonna be ended up with nothing but thieves laying in his bed, baby oil. So they let you have baby oil in prison? Yeah, they, man, they, yeah, you gonna have baby oil unless you're in a prison where baby oils are being used to, uh, it may sometimes take baby oil and heat it up and throw it on you. Now, if they happen, they, they take it off the list. You know, they won't uh, sell baby oil. Did you ever, I know you threw duty, you ever throw baby oil? No. Mm -mm. You, I like, you wasn't going to waste your baby oil. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, it's some valuable stuff, I'm telling you. And just think about it. <clears throat> I mean, it don't make sense. I mean, and, uh, black people, you know, we went through all that, what white people did, slavery this, slavery that. Uh, we want equal rights, uh, we get that. We even had a black president, black generals. Uh, uh, so the opportunity, it's done. The door's open for everybody. You get a piece of the pie. All this trying to blame white people, no. They to blame for a lot, but uh, got to take account for your own actions. That's what it is now. So yeah, did nobody uh, white you tell can't blame did mama, daddy, nobody. You just messed up mentally. You did this. You made all this money. All this money they made in, 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 in Hollywood. Built empires. All of them working together. Jay-Z, Mary J. All of, everybody played a part in building. They built an empire. And uh, so, courtesy and respect should have been uh, top priority in your business. Being courtesy to those you come in contact with and respect them. You know, cause your return gonna be enormous. You know, he went in with trying to deceive, cheat, blackmail, bribe, and take, take, bully take over. No finesse, just uh, coming off in a gangster like you know you don't want to experience people. And Hollywood stars and celebrities, they hear about stuff like that. They are notified their lawyers who will notify the FBI, and they will watch you for years because they're getting paid for it. And then. <coughs> Who wants some of this rubbed on them? Now, when they when they come to your door, are they gonna be knocking at people's doors? Uh, FBI, uh, we gonna put you under arrest for, and you better believe whoever they they lock up, they gonna get denied bail, all that. You ain't getting out of it. You're going to see it's all the way till you even commit suicide. Are you going to prison? These lawyers going to make a killing off of you. They're going to tell you, look, uh, you gave me a million dollars. Now, Susan, she wanted me to take over to Germany. She wanted to buy a house over. Well, how much you need? I need another million. They're going to drain them dry. They don't, they going to prolong, they going to lie to them. Look, man, we got a good chance of getting bail this time. You know, the judge told me he this and that, and uh, I'm going to need uh, $2 million. We're going to get this done. Keep your fingers crossed, there's two more million. I mean, they're going to they gonna kill him out with that. And then in the end, none of it going to work. Money wasted. Uh, <clears throat> what he could do right now, 
is I would use every penny I got. If they came at me like that, if I was him, I said they ain't seen nasty until they, they came at me like it. And now everybody want to run their mouth. You know what? I'm going to tell the prosecutor, I want to make a deal. I'm going to tell you who was a part of my business. So-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so. So oh, you going to snitch? Not that, and the people I'm naming wasn't even a part of it, but... They running their mouth about me. I'm going to bring I'm gonna bring you with me. You know you running your mouth about them right now. Yeah, but here's what I'm saying. This is the craziest thing that I ever seen. You got kids out here that looked upon them as role models. They kids saying, I want to be like Jay-Z. P. Diddy. You keep saying Jay-Z. Where Jay-Z come in at? Man, his lips, man. I, look, I know one of these bottles. He's going to end up with one of these bottles. Jay Z, you gonna get one of these on your bed, and uh, I just know it. They waiting on you. Uh, you gonna get one of these on your bed, and you gonna get real, really love. They gonna love you, them lips. But uh, back to P D, he's sick, man. That man is sick. And uh, but I'm gonna tell you what, how sick he is. This is what he'll do in jail. You wait till the guard leave the wall. He'll go look out the door, make sure ain't nobody coming. And he'll take his hand and uh, put his hand up up on his shirt and play with his nipple and start masturbating. And uh, uh, he'll, 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 yeah, he's freaking himself right now. See, I know the type of freak he is. That's what exactly he's doing in a uh, jacking off. Uh, uh, he ain't worried about his case. He's masturbating, thinking about the last man he was with. And uh, that's what they do, his type, when they get locked up. And then uh, later on, his, his lawyer give him a bad news. They deny bail again. And so he'll get angry, and to reduce his anger, He'll masturbate again and think about all the little nasty stuff and he gonna drive himself crazy. Look, he ain't poor. A lot of people can't do 40 years like I did and make it out. He ain't gonna make it. He don't have 40 years to get him. He ain't gonna make it. Uh, I'm gonna say that name again. Jay-Z ain't gonna make it. And, and you people that is involved in this, if you sit there and play a game with yourself and think, well, uh, ain't nobody spoke to me. Man, when they come for you, you go to jail and you ain't going to have a bond. It's over. If I even thought, and I went to that party, if I even thought I was going to get implicated and I got the money, I already made provision. I'm already removed up out of America. I watch this on TV in the country with no extradition. Back to U.S. That, uh, and, and I buy me a home mark, and I, 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 I'm going to stay there until all this stuff blows over. I'm not putting myself out there. You ain't come to, I ain't nobody's witness or nothing. So you saying he should have left? Hell yeah. He's dumb, man. And uh, there's uh, there's all kinds of organizations out there, powerful organizations, to stand to benefit from the fall of this man. You know, they got productions and uh, uh, music companies and stuff uh, with big ties to uh, man, it's billions in there. And these people, secret societies and stuff, man, they stand to benefit off of the fall of this man's this man, his ignorance. Everybody, a lot of important people can, can get money and they press them. They go through their contacts to press 
for a conviction. Uh, they pressed uh, for a whole lot of stuff to, to, to deny him bail. They got power looking down on that. Well, I looked that up because I didn't think it was a, uh, uh, that he had a constitutional right to bail, but when I looked it up, uh, your constitutional rights only says that he has the right, uh, uh, no state has the right to impose a bail that is too uh, much too much to make, you know. Mm -hmm. Which well, for him, well, he can pretty yeah, much pay any type of bail. But he didn't say he has an absolutely right to one. To bail. Mm. And, but they said the state that he's in has their own law on bail. And, and, and out of like 18 states, they got uh, a law that said uh, if you was a, a terrorist, uh, if you was somebody with a sexual crime and uh, you was uh, a real notorious gangster threat to the public or uh, to the witnesses and uh, people that they know has the power to flee and uh, the nature of the charge is really what really if, if it's sexual they can deny it bail and that's what they did and so uh and they ain't gonna back away from it. It'll go all the way through trial. And uh uh it'll go all the way to a trial. But this this and, and, and this is how they do it. They can let their trial go on for two years before he's uh we hear about a conviction. And he's still in jail, rotten, you know, and then after two years, uh after them lawyers to make money and stuff out of them. They said, here it is. Jury come back with the verdict. We found him guilty on all counts. And it'd be like, yeah, like death. You might well say you're going to get the death sentence. Because you ain't going to never get out. You know, the time they going to give you, you'll die now. At your age, you're dead. But you know, the justice system shows us over and over that it's differences in situations and colors. Yeah, it because, is. Because Donald Trump, he may bail. He's already been charged with 34 counts. Convicted. Convicted. Yeah, been convicted. But he's out. Yeah, he's out walking around, running, still running for president. And what gets me is none of the candidates want to even step her. I wouldn't even let him talk to me. If they, we went into a debate, I'd call him what he is. I said, you can you. You can't even open your mouth. You a criminal. That's why I tell him. Uh, I was shot that on stage in his face right in front of the news. Then they 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 greeting him like 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 he ain't. You know you got man. I don't care what. You, let me tell you what. Uh, uh 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 this stuff. I learned this by law. Even interpreting laws, uh, what the Supreme Court can do. You know. Uh, uh, Check it out. Partial immunity. People never ask what is that. I'll tell you what it is. It means you don't have immunity on everything. You only have immunity with things dealing with your job. You know, that that, that, that job thing over here, the president make decisions, put contracts, hits on other countries, foreign leaders. You can't be prosecuted. Yeah, yeah presidential that. acts. Yeah, presidential acts. You go out, that's what your immunity is, that's the land. That's why they say Porsche immunity. You go outside of that and you violating state law. You you violating laws that didn't have nothing to do with your, your job. Yeah, you're not president no more. Yeah, you violating tax laws and all this stuff. Now, that's not presidential shit. That's your own... American stuff, right? Well, you can be held accountable now without immunity, right? When you start violating the laws of the country, you know. It's not presidential X. The land is through there. This is outside of your presidential power. You know, like, and he got convicted on 34 counts and 
They don't know how to even look and tell this man, look, man, uh, you know, go all the way through with it. Uh, we're going to take you to sentencing. You don't have immunity from that. They say partial immunity. We going to sentence you. We sentencing you. You can send that back to them for clarification. We sentencing you because they say partial immunity. You know, it ain't a presidential act. The, the crimes you committed was not presidential, uh, of presidential acts. It was your own shit. We prosecute you, we sentencing you, and if anybody got a problem with it, clarify it and tell us what you mean. You said partial immunity, we know what that means. And they, they didn't know how to take it up on it. And now this lady, is challenging this man. She's standing up to this crazy man, a woman. And she got a fight in her, but... Who she, you talking about? Pamela. Kamala. Kamala, hers, or, or, but she don't know how to tell him straight up. Tell everybody, keep it in people's mind while you get ready to cast your vote. Do you want... I think it's pronounced, pronounced Kamala. Criminals run in the country. I mean, just ask yourself. Al Capone did it over in uh, Chicago for a while. He had judges, politicians, everybody. Yeah, he wasn't fight. president of the United States, though. No, nah, but he was getting ready to be king of that city. And that goes from one city to the next, right? And I'm going to tell you what. Here's somebody that is a known criminal trying to take the country back. Get ready to bring people into debt, appointing people over the treasury and stuff that is massive at knowing how to steal and slick and what you can't chase it back. Uh, they get ready to screw America. And this lady is trying to stop people from uh, making a mistake of voting for this man, man. So they're going to put baby oil on America? I'll tell you what. It's going to be a whole lot of this. Everybody out of the store getting baby oil. I'm, I'm telling you what, look at it. Because when you make that mistake and end up in a prison, hey, it's going to be found on your bed. You got you got one uh, message. You got a message for P. Diddy before we close down today? Yeah. P. Diddy. We can do it the easy way or the hard way. Yeah.